This lesson is about atomic structure and simple electron configuration. By the end of this lesson, you will be able to describe atomic structure, including simple electron configuration, using information on your periodic table. So you need a periodic table out in front of you right now. And also, during this lesson, I'm going to ask you to pause for just a minute to do some practice problems. When you hit play again, we'll go over the answers together. So make sure you hit pause. Here we go. So here's a review of the parts of an atom, uh, what their charges are, and where they're located. So first, we're going to talk about the nucleus. The nucleus is at the center of the atom, and most of the mass of the atom is there. It's made out of two parts. The first uh, subatomic particle in the nucleus is called the proton. It has a positive charge. The second subatomic particle in the nucleus is called the neutron. Uh, it has a neutral charge. Today we're mostly going to focus on the protons, and we'll talk about neutrons later on. The third subatomic particle is the electron. These are much, much smaller than the protons and neutrons. They're about one two thousandth of the size of protons and neutrons. And they're not in the nucleus. They're around the nucleus in different layers called shells, and they have a negative charge. So how do you know for each individual atom of a particular element, how do you know how many protons there are and how many electrons? You're going to use your periodic table to figure this out. So here's your periodic table. You should have one right in front of you. And let's pick a sample element off the periodic table to use to learn how to do this. So let's take a look at carbon. So here's carbon. Here's what the square looks like. It's got a big C in the middle with a six on top. So the big C in the middle is the symbol of the element. Your periodic table probably already has a key that says this on it. Uh, above the symbol, that number is the atomic number, and that is equal to, I'm going to write up here, the number of protons, and it's equal to the number of electrons. And you remember that protons are positive and electrons are negative, so if they have the same number of protons and electrons, the atom is neutral. So every single atom, when they start out, is, is perfectly neutral. Down below the symbol uh, is, of course, the name of the element. And then finally, down at the very bottom is this number. It's usually some sort of a decimal, and carbon is usually 12.01. So let's fix that here. And this is the average atomic mass. And this will become important later on. For today, we're interested most in the atomic number, which is on top, and the symbol. So what does this actually look like? We're going to draw a really simple picture of a model of an atom. So carbon, we know from the six on top, that's the number of protons. So we can draw these protons in the middle. I'm going to draw little circles with plus signs. Three, four, five, six. And there are some number of neutrons as well, and we're not going to worry about how many neutrons there are today. And then around the nucleus, right, the protons and the neutrons are in the nu nucleus, around the nucleus are these layers of electrons. So since carbon has six protons, it means it also has six electrons. Now the electrons are organized in a certain way. The very first layer of electrons can have up to two electrons. So here's one of those, and here's the other. So that takes care of two out of the six. And we're going to add another layer because we ran out of room on the first one. The second layer, the second layer can have up to eight electrons. We have six left, or sorry, we have four left. So here they are. One, two, three, four. And the, remember, these are electrons, so they're all negative. So we've put on one, two, three, four, five, six electrons, and that's carbon. It's got six protons in the middle, six electrons on the energy levels around the nucleus. Let's try one more. Here's chlorine. This is a bigger atom. If we look at the atomic number above chlorine, we see that there is a 17, and that's the number of protons and the number of electrons. So let's say I don't feel like drawing 17 circles with pluses in them. I'm just going to indicate that the nucleus has a charge of plus 17. So here's the nucleus. Now we're going to draw the first energy level. And just like carbon, 
it can only fit two electrons. So here they are, one, two. Now let's draw another energy level. And like I told you before, it can fit up to eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we've taken care of 10 so far, which means that we have seven left to go. So we're gonna have to add another energy level. So we're gonna add one more energy level. The third energy level can also hold up to eight. So to remember this, just remember two, eight, eight. So we have seven left. They can definitely fit on this energy, energy level. So here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So there we go. There's chlorine. It has 17 protons plus 17 in the nucleus, and it has 17 electrons in three energy levels around the nucleus. So here's your turn. Draw a model of an atom of the following elements. Do hydrogen, oxygen, magnesium, and fluorine. Hit pause right now while you do that. All right, welcome back. We're going to go over the answers to this. So hydrogen is Atomic number one, so it has one proton in the middle, so here's the nucleus, and it only has one electron, so we just need one energy level, and I'm going to draw one electron, so there's hydrogen. Next up, we're going to do oxygen. Oxygen has atomic number eight, which means that it has eight protons and eight electrons. So we're going to put plus eight in the middle, there's the nucleus. Here's energy level one, which you know can only fit two electrons. Energy level two will have the rest of them. So if we use two already and there are eight in total, uh, we have six left. So here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that's oxygen. Letter C is magnesium. And let's go check the periodic table on this one. Magnesium is right there. It's got 12 as its atomic number. So we know that it must have 12 protons. They're positive, there's plus 12. Here's the nucleus. First energy level can have two. Second energy level can have eight and we're gonna need all eight there. So that brings us to 10, so we need two more. Oops, I kind of ran out of space. That's okay, I'll just put them over here. And it doesn't matter if you put them in pairs or separately for now, don't worry about that. So we have plus 12 in the middle, we've got two, eight, and then our two leftover ones on a third energy level. And finally, fluorine, I left a big space for it on purpose because it's a little bit bigger. It has, it has 17 protons, so there they are in the nucleus. Energy level one gets one, two. Energy level two gets one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That brings us to 10. We've got seven left. So we need another energy level. And this one can fit up to eight and we only have seven left. So we're gonna put all the rest on here. Did I do that right? Two, four, six, seven. Great, those are your answers. So we're gonna talk now about electrons in a special location. These are called valence shell electrons. They are the electrons in the valence shell of the atom. The valence shell is the very outermost energy level of electrons, so the very outside layer. These electrons in the valence shell are important because they're the only ones that participate in chemical bonds. The electrons on the inside don't really do anything when it comes to bonding. This means that the valence shell electrons give each element its unique properties, and it turns out that elements with the same number of valence shell electrons have similar properties. So all the atoms that have one valence electron have similar properties. Elements with two valence shell electrons have similar properties. So we're going to go back to the two atom drawings that we did together, and we're gonna figure out how many valence shell electrons they have.